all right uh welcome back this is minyak today we'll be looking at the claim temporal destroyer let me make sure right ship <laughs> okay plane temporal destroyer yes this is the plane temporal destroyer it's not the same as the burn temporal this uh, what is it science temporal science okay a different ship okay this is the bridge of the claim actually similar actually yeah well then calling it similar is wrong it's the same as the uh vern temporal so this is uh, the temporal bridge yeah the same access to account bank okay uh yeah access library contact duty officer for yeah uh, duty mission and you can switch to your shuttle here okay but uh, everything else exactly the same as the fern okay yeah the bridge is actually for federation so i don't know i don't know if there is any difference so this is for federation temporal bridge and i have actually looked at the romulan one it's actually different it's, it's the same but the coloring is okay let's get out and see the ship plane okay ship. okay i have to click that a couple of times okay right now my character is at drozana station Maybe it will be a little uh, less laggy than the uh, uh, well, than last time when I actually make a video. It's just actually in the hole. So yeah, this is the claim. Yeah, well, the ship is actually good looking. Ship also is uh, same. Well, it's not the the fern. It's a different ship. This is the kind of yeah futuristic looking 29th century ship pretty much so yeah it's a good looking ship it's not the same as the Vern. yeah the ship is actually well similar design but uh, completely different okay let's look at the ship okay ship mastery uh first mastery plus 5 accuracy second mastery uh, plus 15 uh, percent critical severity the third one is 2.5 percent critical chance okay the fourth one is uh, additional damage on kinetic and energy about 10 percent okay and the starship mastery is 1.21 terawatts this is uh, actually another back to the future reference except back to the future is 1.21 gigawatt this gigawatt is not enough to power a ship now <laughs> okay the console okay the ship itself uh forward weapon is actually four slot f three three f okay and the Okay, the weapon itself, experimental weapon, uh, this is what uh, came with the ship. Experimental Hyper Excited Ion Stream Projector. Uh, this is pretty much not that great, <laughs> but yeah, this is what it uh, came with, you know, the heavy weapon that uh, came with the ship. Uh, so it's 2000 electrical damage five in a line yeah four second recharge yes yeah, kind of useless <laughs> it's uh, it's the generic uh, hyper excited can uh, electrical so yeah you could actually change it with uh, well uh, actually a better experimental weapon the console that came okay the console it's two engineering four science and five tactical so this is a tactical ship <clears throat> Okay, the console that came with the ship is this uh, universal enhanced 
Einheim device. Okay, this is a control expertise. The passive is control expertise. Brain expertise and 5% uh, shield resistance. Okay, we can actually use it uh, on the, well, base right here. It actually, what it does is the, okay, the uh, console, what it does is actually create a duplicate of your ship. Okay, uh, let's turn it on. It has some animation. So yeah, it creates two duplicate ships. Uh, it and it actually has uh, animation. It lasted about twenty seconds, I think. Well, uh, let's look at description. <laughs> uh, thirty seconds. Okay, it lasted for thirty seconds. So after thirty seconds, it disappear. So yeah, your duplicate lasted for 30 seconds and it actually have uh, it actually has a 2 minute cooldown before you can actually use it again. Yeah, that got this description the 1.21 terawatt is actually I don't know, I don't think it's useful. Uh it's when you got hit by electrical or radiation damage, reduce the recharge time of your captain ability by 5%. Maximum once per every 10 seconds. Yeah, well, uh, if you get hit by electrical or radiation, that is not a lot of enemy that uses uh, electrical or radiation well radiation damage is probably like Malon use radiation damage but electrical is not that uh, it's not a whole lot of ship that actually use electrical damage so yeah you have kind of have to rely on luck I guess okay station wise station wise so the station is commander okay commander tactical temporal ops so this is tactical slash temporal ops lieutenant commander tactical temporal okay this is temporal also but for tactical so yeah you could actually slap here well temporal okay the one is one lieutenant well ensign engineering Lieutenant Commander Okay, Lieutenant Commander Universal Station. This one uh, you can actually slot whether it's you know this is universal. This one is also universal. Yep. Lieutenant Universal Station. Yeah, this is the bridge. Well for your bridge officer. Okay, let's test well before like, testing out. Let me see if I forgot anything. Oh yes, that. Oh uh, yeah, seventy-four thousand forward shield is twelve k. Yeah, because this uh my character, this character is a tactical, so yeah, the shield is kind of low, but it has more resistance. Okay, critical chance is forty-two percent. Critical severity one hundred seventy-one. Okay, turn rate eighteen. Uh, uh flight speed thirty-six. So the ship is slow but easy to turn that's pretty much it <laughs> okay let's go and try it on the, the usual patrol yeah well I usual patrol are well before that I almost forgot let me slap the trait one twenty one terawatt Okay, and let's try it on patrol. Yeah, just usual Argala. This is the fastest.
Okay, let's do that. Oh, and also it has molecular beams here. Because this is a temporal ship. It has a molecular deconstruction beam. Uh, it's a good looking ship. You have entered an area. You are now my looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. <laughs> Damage. Keep concentrating fire on it. We will not go quiet, buddy. Where is the Sorry, I'm not still using the uh console yet. I don't see. Sensors are picking up small habitation okay. from some of the asteroids. Possibly temporary mining. Yeah, I did not see. Get any electrical damage or radiation. So yeah, the well. Picked up a tight beam transmission on a new frequency. We're jamming that spectrum of their comms now. I'm taking you with me. Okay, I will use the console on the last. Oh, mini. Well, there is that. Yeah, I'll just get something. Oh. Thank you for your assistance, and welcome to this sector. The Kazon have. We have the. Okay, let's depart now. the system. Alright, what do I think about the trait of the ship? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. The terawatt, okay, the mastery, this, this is the 121 terawatt on the Argala sector is completely useless. <laughs> I did not get any get hit by uh, electrical or radiation so yeah this is purely situational un unless you know what what uh, you know what enemy you are expecting uh, it might be useful but uh, so far no this is probably the only time this is useful is if you actually fight against uh, Romulan I guess Romulan and Romulan plasma torpedoes because it create radiations other than that, uh, the trait is useless. Okay, the... Okay, the... Console? The console, well, the console... Uh, it's... Yeah, it's something you can do without. 
this is not a great con maybe this is good if you have a, I don't know a set name no no even though with a set the fern set this is not going to be very useful nope yeah I don't think the neither the crate or the console is useful however the ship handled really really good the ship itself, the maneuverability. Well, the ship itself is actually the, the one that's actually good. Not the trait, not the. Not, <laughs> not the trait and not the console, but the ship itself is actually good. Which is surprising. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's my opinion anyway. Alright, that's the end of this video, okay? I will see you guys again on the next video. Alright. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Minyak signing off.